Welcome everybody to the Sing On Stiletto Show. I'm Susanna Shima and I'm a matchmaker and dating coach at Dream Bachelor and Bachelorette and I'm also the founder of Sing On Stilettos. Today we have in our show Tinsley Bradford and she's the author of The Settle Free Dating Method for Women and I'm so excited to have her here today because today we're talking about how to be a smarter dater so that you don't waste time dating the wrong men. But before we jump into it, Tinsley, I would love for you to tell our audience a little bit about you and what made you write this book. Yes. Hi, Suzanne. Thanks for having me on again. I love this show. Um, Well, I do what I do because I love to empower women to be better. And I am the author of The Settle Free Dating Method for Women. And it's a no-nonsense advice guide to remind women that they are more. So what that means is you don't need to settle for less than you deserve. And today's topic, being a smarter dater, is such an on-point topic. And I have so many great tips to make sure you can be a wiser dater. I know. And so let's jump into it because I want to hear, I know we could go on and on, but I want to hear your three best tips so a woman can be a smarter dater when she's out there so that she doesn't waste time anymore with the wrong men. So what's your first tip? Okay. Well, tip number one is when you're dating, you need to be observant. You don't need to be too caught up in la la land and all in love and stuff so quickly. Of course, you want the guy to know you're interested and you don't want to come across as Perry Mason, like you're digging for any type of, you know, things against him to hold against him and is watching his every move. However, you do need to be watching because I'm a strong believer in watching what people do versus what they say. So anyone can say they're going to do something, but The key is, are they actually doing it? And I'm going to give you an example. If he says he's going to call you about a certain time and you notice a trend of him not doing that and you find yourself always having a call, that's a good point that he may not be doing what he's supposed to do. Be observant of that. If he says he's going to come get you and take you out to dinner or you guys are going to go on a date and he doesn't show up or something happens, that's something for you to look at as well. So be observant of his actions and not just so quickly about what he says he's going to do, but Look and see what he actually does. Exactly. And I love that you said that, Tinsley, because I always give that to, to my clients is I always say, don't listen to what a man says, watch his actions. Because men can talk the talk and say all these nice things and I'm going to do this for you and I'm going to do that for you. And I hear all too often a lot of women will go, oh, but he said this and he said that. He talked about the future. But if he doesn't follow through... It means absolutely nothing. So Tinsley, you're absolutely right. I love that tip. So what's your second best tip for how a woman could be a smarter dater? Yes. Well, tip number two is you can be a smarter dater by making sure that you are aware of the type of person that you are getting yourself into and, well, who you're dating. And what I mean by that is, If you already see some not so great signs of this person, and I'm not saying judge a book by its cover, I'm not saying be judgmental or dismissive right off the top, but come on now. We all can look and tell and talk to someone and pretty much tell if that person may or may not be a good fit for what we're trying to do. Perfect example. If the person's already telling you, well, I'm just looking to chill and hang out, what's that new saying, Netflix and chill type of thing? (laughs) And you know you're looking for something more substantial. You want to date. You want to get to know this person. You want to do stuff. You want to engage. If he's already telling you, oh, I don't want to do all that, you need to be smart and listen to what he says and say, okay, well, he's telling me he doesn't want to really date and get to know me. He just wants to hang out here and there. Well, I want something more substantial. So you'll be wasting your time if you're trying to pursue someone who's already said they're not trying to pursue you back. So don't be that type of person to run, run, run behind someone who's clearly saying no. Right. And I have to add to that because all too often I will hear women tell me that a man said to them that, oh, I'm not looking for anything serious. And I hear all too often a lot of women will say, oh, but I think I can change him. I think I can make him want to be serious. And ladies, you can't. If a man says that he's not looking for anything serious, believe him. He is not looking for a relationship. Don't think you can change him. Right? Right. Absolutely. And you know my stance. If he's not looking for what you're looking for, next. (laughs) Exactly. And so I'm going to (laughs) go... I'm going to go on with number three, if you don't mind. Sure. So 
Number three is while you're dating, make sure that you don't overstress it. And what that means is you don't have to be on a date every weekend. You don't have to be on a date every night. You don't have to always be on a date to be considered acceptable. It's okay to take time for yourself. Date yourself sometimes. Take yourself out to the movies. Take yourself out for a nice manicure or pedicure. Treat yourself. Don't put too much time and energy into stressing over always wanting to be on a date with someone. I've had so many different women and people I talk to and a few clients who go, well, I feel like if I'm not doing anything with a guy, then I'm not going to get anywhere. I feel like I got to do this. I got to do that. I got a date tonight. I got a date tomorrow. I got a date next week. And then you're stressed out and you're worried about trying to make sure that you're there and you're, 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 you're evolving into a relationship and you're really not really where you need to be yourself. And what I mean, just go ahead and take time for you. Don't always be dating, dating, dating. Just take time for you. A little downtime doesn't hurt. Exactly. And I will add to that and say it's about quality, not quantity. That's what's important. Right, Tinsley? Right. Well, great. These have been some awesome tips. So, Tinsley, tell our audience how they can find you in your book. Yes. If you visit TinsleyBradford.com, there is a nice little link on the side where you can get my book and you click on it and order it. You can also find me on Amazon um, out under the Settle Free Dating Method for Women, which is a no-nonsense advice guide. And any social media channel, Twitter at Tinsley B, IG at Tinsley B, and Facebook, author Tinsley Bradford. Thank you so much, Suzanne, for having me on. Great. Well, thanks everybody for joining us on the Single and Stiletto Show. If you like our show, it's available both in video format and podcast format. If you if you would like to view the videos, you can go to singleandstilettos.com. And if you like to get the podcast, you can download it from iTunes. And if you would like to get our free ebook, Three Secrets Guaranteed to Attract Any Man, you can click right here on the video or you can go to singleandstilettos.com.